Hey, Richard Pappy and Dale Kreitz and all of his crew. We're going to have more cars. Just stay tuned. Next year, we might have Stutz Bearcats versus Mercer Raceabouts. Maybe have about 20 of them here fighting each other along the course. It's going to be a great time. So come back in 2023. We'll have a great time. Wait, tell us about this Nyberg. Nyberg Automobiles. This guy named Henry Nyberg from Sweden moved to Canada, started selling cars in Chicago. He had about a 10-story building. He sold all brands of cars until he decided that he wanted to manufacture a car. My good friends back here, uh, one works for Volkswagen now, the other one used to work for Volkswagen. I told them some time ago, you guys build the best car in Chattanooga, Tennessee, the best car in the South. No questions asked, but you weren't the first. This car, Nyberg, was built here from 1910 to 1912, and I think Mark did an excellent job. If he hadn't have hit that bump, I think he went up on the curb a little bit, cause the track is smooth, Gillies. <laughs> I, I, I think that's just an explanation of why he let Kendall pass him. So uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful car. It's about a 50 horsepower. It's got a Rutenberg motor in it, and uh, it's got a, a, a um, a Mitchell Overdrive, Fat Man Steering Wheel. I don't know why we got a Fat Man Steering Wheel for these two skinny guys, but uh, it's a wonderful car. Hawk number fives, um, it's a wonderful car. How about Glenn Miller, tell us about your car. It, it's a 1909 EMF. They were built in Detroit, right next door to the Model T plant there. Um, it's a 230 cubic inch. It's like I said, it's, it's the little baby car here. It's only about 30 horsepower. But, it, uh, but it's a good running car, it has a transaxle, it's run up to about 75 mile an hour up at Milwaukee one time, so, so it will go. So the Marmon Wasp, I'll tell you why we have a Marmon Wasp here in Chattanooga. Um, Honest Charlie Garage was approached a, a number of, of years ago to build an exact replica of the winner of the first Indy 500, and this is it. We borrowed the car from the Indianapolis Speedway Museum, measured it, took 3,000 photographs, and then built this car. We had it at Indy in 2011, the 100 year anniversary, and um, uh, there was this little man that came up and said, you know, my father drove this car. And I said, what do you mean your father? He said, my father, Ray Haroon. This guy was 93 years old, and, and he actually signed the cowl of our, our reproduction. It's a reproduction of the car that's in the Indianapolis Speedway Museum, and it is dead on. It is absolutely an amazing car. Uh, this, that's typical of the cars. Richard Pappy and, and Dale Price have some really wonderful cars.